Hey YouTubers, this is Ron, AKA Bill7974. Went ahead and recently bought this uh, 18 inch bending brake from Harbor Freight. And uh, as cheap as it is, you know, for the small work that I do, uh, it'll work. I had another one, but I went ahead and sold it, picked this one up. And uh, some of the things I've noticed that uh, the handles here, they really fit nicely into here. They just slip right in and a lot better than what they used to be. Mounting bolts, if you want to mount it, quarter inch holes, you have two on each end, or if you want to just go ahead and uh, vice grip it to the bench. And in bending uh, the metal, found out, of course this is in the upward position here, you have this piece here which is removable. Um, and the best way to do it is you can what I've seen other people do is use these uh, clamps here and they work okay. Okay, so here it is. It's mounted on my workbench with quarter inch bolts and as you can see the handles on the machine slip right in. No problem there. This is the, uh, they call it the pressing plate according to the instructions. Pressing plate. Now, if, as you uh, fold your metal up like this, with this properly uh, gripped down, the vice grips work excellent. But don't try to use these. They don't work. They'll move. They'll move that bar. Your metal will get distorted, and you won't have a, uh, a correct bend. And what I've noticed, and what I'm going to go ahead and do, since I'm just using the 05, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this down um, almost permanently. I'm going to go ahead and weld a piece of quarter inch by three quarter inch steel plate, stitch weld it right on top of here, and I'm going to put another piece quarter inch by three quarter inch high so this don't move at all and if you're doing steel you surely don't want it to move now the stuff didn't move with these so after that I'm going to go ahead and drill holes here to accept three eighths inch bolts and put a, uh, a steel nut up underneath here got something very interesting to show you what I found out with this uh, 18 inch break is that uh, on the, on the base, the movable base, which goes from 180 to uh, just a little more than 90 degrees. And I've set this thing up. You can see the parting line here to the pressing plate. The distance is quite a bit from where the parting line is. And that is because zero as you'd say this plate actually rides up on the other piece there let me put the light over here and uh, that's the 90 that's the zero mark for the parting line this is an experiment to show that parting line there's the line where I want to go ahead and make the bend right there and it's actually set up to zero this is 45 10 thousandths thickness aluminum can. And so there are about five thousandths. Let's go ahead and see. Easy. There's 90. And as we put this thing on, take a look. set it for zero. Easy guys. I got some 05 5052 aluminum and went ahead and bent it. Make sure I went ahead and found that parting line. And as you can see that parting line is not correct. So but on this side it is. So what I did I went ahead and measured it from the end of the base here. One and seven eighths 
of an inch uh, to the end of this by using uh, the square. And it's like 26, 30 seconds, one, seven, eight. And that'll put that parting line right on the 90, if you're doing 90. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. So the edge right here to here, which is from here to here, that is 1.75 or one and three quarters of an inch. All right, from here to that first line, this is where the movable base goes from 180 degrees to just a little greater than 90 degrees, one and three sixteenths or one and 26, 30 seconds. And then for 04, around 19 gauge, it's from here to one and 27, 30 seconds, the third line there. And then for 05 or 18 gauge, it's one and seven eighths from here to here. That's all I need. Now, if you want to go ahead and mark any more, and what I've done is to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> um, sketch them, etch them into the metal on both ends so that actually there would be the zero. This is the number of 04 metal, 05 or 18 gauge. This would be like 19. And I went ahead and done the same for that end. Next piece I want to go ahead and show you is the press plate. And I went ahead and uh, welded on this piece of steel, which is three quarter inch wide by one quarter inch tall. And I'm not gonna go ahead and put the other piece on there, it's just too much, so it's good backing. That'll help strengthen this whole uh, press plate up. Went ahead and stitched it 10 times. On the, and also went ahead and put a handle on. Some people go ahead and they put springs on the end, so all we have to do is just lift it up. And uh, also drill at each end one, excuse me, uh, three-eighths hole, and uh, also on this, on the base, this has been elongated, and I'll show you why, it's because when we go ahead and put the, the turning, uh, locking uh, handles on, it has a freedom to go ahead and move as about a sixteenth of an inch. Remember, that was from here to here, and... Uh, if we go ahead and put everything all together, it's not going to move very far. You're only bending as much as 18, 18 gauge. Okay, this is what I want to go ahead and show you. After drilling that hole, I went ahead and uh, clamped uh, this piece of steel down, same as the, uh, the top of the piece of steel that we put on for the press plate. And uh, put one of these uh, carbide cutter bits in from Eastwood. It's three eighths diameter into the drill press and align it. Of course, I went ahead and clamped this down to keep everything straight and true. Only need to uh, deburr it about a sixteenth of an inch, a little cleanup with the file on both ends. Now, instead of using uh, the nuts that I said previously uh, underneath to clamp uh, these handles down, uh, which is made out of uh, half inch steel. 3 eighths by 16 national course grade 8 bolts. You can use 5. Double knotted it with a washer. And these threads will go down in, into this piece of steel here, which will fit up underneath here. And by clamping it down, be able to get your pressing plate where you want it. Yes, half inch square tube for the top of the handle. And you can use a wrench, whatever, but I thought this was easy. And uh, so it goes right through the press plate, the base, into that long piece of steel I was showing you. Screws right into it. And as you can see, you can also use the handle here. Lift it up, put your metal in. This is a piece I just meant, 18 gauge, 05 and right on the parting line and this is another one that went ahead and done right after that kind of screwed the video up i'll go ahead and do that one right now I'll show you there's some 05 
and there's that parting line. I've got to further reset it into uh, the press plate here. I'm going to turn the video off here for a second while I set things up. Okay, it's in. You can see the line right there and put it in a little bit more. Tighten it up. Of course, we're doing the 05 for this one back. You can see I'm doing this with one hand. And that's it. Loosen this guy up some. How about that? No music, no dogs, no music playing. Let's put this thing up in the pinky. There you go. Cool, you can do it. Thanks for watching.